hey guys so a recap on how you set up different pages somebody told me hey how help us do that when you are writing less content so remember in the previous tutorial i'd shown you this so let me just refresh here and you're going to be left with nothing on the page so far now it's an empty page and how to get this make sure you watch the previous video because i told you how you get this emulator from the Google Chrome extensions. Now to create pages, you have to create a div. Now give this div an attribute of data role equals double quotes page or oh, lowercase in lowercase equals page. Now this will be the first page of your website now inside this write the children cause this one is the parent div having this data role of page so now this one will tell the browser that this is the first page you have to handle or to execute when the browser opens and you're going to pass an attribute also here the same attribute of data role equals header so this is the header of your website down write another div give this one also again the attribute of data role equals main so you can put here content or main but if you have to use main here add another class which is ui dash content so if you don't want to write all this make sure you put here data role equals content because this is where the stuff that will be displayed on your website will be placed so if you need to the video series or crash course please make sure you start from the beginning up to where we are right now so they will be in order in the playlist i will upload on the channel now you are done with that create another div now give this one an attribute of data role equals footer so basically this is the basic layout or basic yeah basic layout of the page using the jquery mobile so this is the first page let's first create here an h1 and i'm going to put home page home page and here i'm going to put h4 i say welcome to home page the home page and this one will be the page footer let's refresh this in our emulator here and that will be the basic layout of your page and you're asking yourself why is this footer here the footer is here because there is less content but there is also another attribute that can push it up to the end and that attribute is what they call the data dash position position equals fixed if you have to save this and look at that as you as you can see here it's up but when you refresh this browser it will be pushed at the bottom because we have placed this attribute of data dash position equals fixed and this is it this is how you can place the footer at the bottom of the screen device or website web app or website you'll be developing so this is the basic layout now how can you create another page because remember when you're using this you don't write homepage.html about.html contact.html you just need to space the first page and put another page below it so it will be ajax to control these transitions when the user clicks a link that will be going to another page ajax will load the dom and fix in the page you are requesting for so let's copy this let's copy this and paste it here so i'm just going to call this one about page and I'm going to say welcome to about second page. Let's say about page. 
and this one is going to be the same this one is going to be the same now to link to this one we have to give it an id and we are going to call it about so i'm just repeating the same stuff i showed you in the previous tutorial so i just wanted to show you with less content let's put here a comment of about about page so this is the basic layout so to link to this page you just have to go to the first page and put this hang tag and you say hash about so that's the page you want to link to you want to link to this id that's why you're using the hash symbol here and you say second second page so i'm just going to put that refresh so when the user clicks this will go to the about page so basically that's how you can yeah come out with such basic layouts just going to get rid of this and again since we are doing for the better of beginners i will repeat again you first create this parent div with the data role of page create the header which is here the header with this information and yeah you create the content where such stuff will be displayed the information you want to display to the user and the page footer which will be here down below with this data position of fixed so i guess that's it it will not take a lot of time i'm just repeating what i did in the first video so guys once again if this tutorial was useful to you don't forget to subscribe to my channel austin code cipher peace i'll see you in the next tutorials when we are doing something more cool than this